today I am going to show you how to make an apple no mandy tart for this recipe I am using two pink lady apples I finely sliced it then I have one and quarter cup of almond meal and a quarter cup of plain flour one egg little bit of brandy you can omit this if you don't want this or use little bit of apple juice instead and 100 grams of butter just melted 2 tablespoons of sugar or even you can use any amount of sugar you want to make it more sweeter and lemon juice and cinnamon a little bit of brown sugar nearly 2 tablespoons just to sprinkle on top to start this I have one pie dish or you can use a tart dish for this and I'm using ready-made puff um, short crust pastry the sweet one so use one sheet of sweet short crust pastry and put it over the dish and trim the edges put weights on this and bake it about five minutes or even you can do this as this is but it will be crispier if you bake it a little bit while baking the pastry mix the other ingredients into a bowl butter the caster sugar not the brown sugar and the brandy or apple juice and the egg then the almond meal and the flour and mix it really well and make a smooth paste after mixing it to a smooth paste to get the right consistency add lemon juice nearly two tablespoons and mix it and leave it aside little bit more I think After baking the pastry about 10 to 12 minutes, take the beads out and put the almond mix into the pastry. And spread it all over. Now take the apple slices and you can uh, stack this in the way you like really nicely on the almond mix like this stack all the apple slices on the tray if you like you can do individual tarts from this too but it takes time making little tarts that's why I'm doing the little uh, the large one to show you how to do it after stacking all the apples it will look like this or any design that you like and press it a little bit downwards and sprinkle the brown sugar on top you can use some butter on top too but I'm not using any butter just um, sprinkle the brown sugar and bake this 160 fan force about 20 minutes or 180 in a normal oven apple and normandy tart is ready but I'm going to leave this in the oven about 20 minutes before I take it out again. So, hope you will enjoy this recipe. Thank you for watching.